today that the effect is fire testing laboratories in the Netherlands for a test on a fire door, which, uh, which looks quite ordinary. It's an ordinary door with dimensions 2.1 by 1 meter. Uh, it has a vision panel, 3 inches, latches, door handle. What's so special about this door? Well, the thing is that this very same door has been blast tested just six weeks ago at the DNO blast testing facilities in Rijswijk, the Netherlands. Um, the door has been exposed to a blast shockwave of 0.56 bar, which is tremendous for the blast. It didn't show any defects. The engines are okay, the vision panel is still okay, it didn't crack, it didn't detect. The door operates, it's fun fully functional, it can be classified as category 1, exposure res resistant door. Uh, the blast test has been witnessed by a Lloyd's Register surveyor. He has marked the sample for positive identification. And uh, the same surveyor has just verified that the door mounted in the steel bulkhead that we're looking at is the very same door as the one last tested at TNO. The question is, is a fire door affected by, uh, by a previous blast? The fire doors that you have in your projects, do they still have the same fire resistance after the blast has occurred? I'm going to answer that question today with a standard IDM blast fire door. The test is about to start. It's just half an hour in the test now. The door is behaving well. Third temperature. 850 degrees. The maximum temperature at the unexposed face of the door is now just over 100 degrees. The average temperature is much lower. The window has turned white. It's meant, it's, uh, that's the way it's meant to be. It keeps the temperature from rising too quickly. The uh, intermittent layers in between the separate layers of the glass pane. that the uh, integrity has been maintained. There are no flames, no large gaps. But uh, just as important is that the temperature rise on every location on the door is well within the allowable limits. That means that this door has been previously blasted with blast shockwave of 0.56 bar has now proven to maintain its fire integrity for 60 minutes. It's now officially an A60 blast fire door that has been previously 